Okay, so for today we're going to discuss Newton's three laws of motion. Here on the left, you can see a picture of Isaac Newton. Before we get into the laws of motion, I kind of want to discuss just about what he's really done for the world and what he's done for okay, like the so math for today we're going to discuss the, Newton's um, three laws of motion. He Here on the left, was you can see calculus, a picture of Isaac which Newton. I know that we all before love and enjoy we get today. into the laws of motion, I kind of want to discuss the idea just about light, what he's really done colors. for the so world all of and what the colors that you like, see are because light, light is reflecting off of them. Um, first off, he and that was um, invented that's calculus, the reason why you see all these I know that we colors. all love and enjoy he, today. He created the first the idea that light is of rainbow which, colors. Um, so all of the colors a that lot you see to are because astronomy light is reflecting off of the them. The laws of motion, which and we're going that, to discuss um, today, that's the reason why and you the theory of gravitation. He... So for the first law, the which first can reflecting also telescope, is known as which, the law of inertia, um, contributes a lot to the rest to astronomy at rest, and an object the laws in of motion, motion which we're going to discuss today, upon and the theory of force. gravitation. So first, so for the first law, law which forces. Can, also, when you is known have the law of inertia on this side, and that an object at rest tends to stay at rest. And you're going to have an in motion to force. stay in motion so unless equal acted forces upon in opposite directions produce force. no motion. So you can see here that so the first we're going to look at balance is forces. standing still, and when that's because you have it has balance on this side and 100 newtons on this side. For unbalanced you're have force a on this side, force. we'll have a smaller force so equal of forces 60 in opposite directions and a no bigger motion. force of 100 newtons. So you can see here that the truck so unequal um, opposing is standing still, an and that's because force, it which has balanced motion. forces acting So if you have the bigger it. force on this side, it's going to propel for the truck to the right. So the truck is in motion, and a bigger force of 100 newtons. So unequal opposing forces and a bigger force of 100 newtons. So unequal opposing forces. So if objects in motion tend to stay in motion, why don't moving objects keep So if you have the bigger force forever. on this side, it's going to propel the truck. Um, things don't keep um, moving to the forever right. because there's so the all, truck is almost in always an unbalanced force with acting um, upon unbalanced them. forces. Whether it's friction or gravity, there's just always so if something objects in there motion to, to stay in motion. To make that force why don't unbalanced? moving objects keep moving? So forever? for example, when you're sliding a book across, um, things don't keep moving forever because there's almost always an unbalanced force acting upon them. Whether it's friction or, or gravity, whatever, you're there's going just all upwards, something it's there going to, to eventually make that down force fall. unbalanced. And that's due to so the force of gravity. So for example, gravity. when you're sliding so up across you are in a table, space, it's and going you to slow fall down and do it up. It's going to continue that's to cause by the force of upwards, friction. And that's because there's no gravity space. Or whenever in space. you're throwing a ball but upwards, it's here on going Earth, to eventually going to slow down, down fall, come to a point and that's due to where the force of gravity. stops for So if you're in space, it's going to fall back down. You it up, and that's going to continue to move upwards and that's because so there's no in, gravity in space. For the law of inertia, but since we're we here have mass, on Earth, it's going to um, slow down. Mass come is, to a measure, point is the measure of the amount of for matter in an object. A split second, a lot it's going to fall back down and that's due to gravity. Um, it's measured so in kilograms. In, for the so law of inertia, see, um, kg, we have mass and you, you can um, just know that that mass is, measure, that is the measure of the amount of matter in an object. A lot of times, the law of inertia um, um, what exactly is inertia? So it's inertia measured in kilograms. can be described so as a property um, of an KG, object that, and you describe how much it will that this change to the motion of the object. So basically, it's how much the law of inertia. Change. So um, if you have what exactly more mass, inertia, then it's, so you're going to have more inertia. Can be described as a property of an object that. So what is this unbound How much it will this on an object the motion? motion. Of the object that can be so basically it's how much it will resist change. There are four so main types of friction. If you have more mass, you have sliding then friction. It's you're going to have can, more inertia. Um, for an example, in ice skating. So what is this when unbalanced force that acts sliding on an object in motion? Ice, um, that can be that causes the type of friction. There are you have four main types friction, of friction. Which when you go bowling, you have sliding and you roll friction, the ball down which the alley. Can, um, the um, ball for an example, in on ice the ground is also creating a type of friction. Your skates are sliding across. The ice um, <coughs> that me. causes a type of friction. You have fluid friction. You have rolling friction, which can be either which air or liquid. When you roll the ball um, down the alley. Basically, when air or water, um, the is ball rolling resistant. on the ground is also creating and then a you type have of friction, friction, which is the initial friction. <coughs> um, excuse me. When an object yeah. is moving, fluid friction, so which can be either air when you're or liquid. Your hands together. Um, it's basically warm. when air or water um, between your hands is going to be friction. So just and then you have static many friction, types of friction, which is the initial friction. So let's look at a, go um, a golf ball. 
for an when example. an object is moving. When you hit the golf so, ball off the tee, when you're rolling your fly hands in the air to keep warm. So unless um, acted between on your by hands, an be friction. It would never so stop. Just, but since you have gravity and friction. you have air, that's gonna so act let's as look at fluid a go- friction a golf ball and it's eventually for an gonna example. stop. And when you, you know, hit the golf the ball off the tee. It's going to fly in okay, the so air. Okay, so now we're going to look at so Newton's unless second law of motion. By an unbalanced it can force, be described it would never as stop. But since you um, have force gravity and you have air, acceleration. that's going to act as um, fluid friction. Or in a formula and it's form, it's going to be F equals M you know, times fall to A. The ground. Okay, so now we're going to so look at Newton's force second law of motion. Mass times acceleration. It can be described um, as the force of measure um, Newton's force equals mass times acceleration. It's important to know that the acceleration um, of gravity form on Earth is F equals M um, times equal to A. 9.8 meters per second squared. So and you can also look, as, is um, to mass look at acceleration as force um, as, as the weight. Force is measured so in weight Newton's. is a type of force. And it's it's important to, to know that the gravity, acceleration of gravity, gravity on, Earth, on Earth is um, equal to so 9.8 meters per second question. squared. So a moon's gravity is one sixth of And you can also look Earth. as, um, if you look weigh at 420 as force on Earth, um, as weight. What will so weight is a type of force. Moon. And it's equal to mass times gravity, which would so be the gravity on Earth. if you said 70 newtons, so let's look press, at this. So basically, question. you would just so take gravity is one four twenty of the Earth divided by six. If you weigh four hundred twenty newtons on Earth, what will you weigh on the moon? Okay, so weight is the measure of the so force of gravity if on the mass of an object. Seventy newtons. Um, a lot of times, so basically, you would just take interchange weight and, and divide it by six, and um, that would give you seventy and, newtons. I mean, I'm even guilty of that. But okay, weight, so weight is isn't the should measure be remembered of the as a force, force of gravity on the mass and not an object. And it can um, be a lot of times as a number, people but it should be looked at as a force weight and then mass, mass um, as in a, I mean I'm mostly a number is like how much mass something but has. But weight is um so should be remembered now, as a force. Like right now we're gonna think of and weight not as an and initial it force. It can't be remembered as a number. Um and then weight but is measured should be looked at as a force and then mass. Okay, so let's look at this problem. Uh, mostly one in rock weighs like how five much mass something has, and the other um, so rock weighs zero point five. Newtons. Like right now, we're going to how much weight more force will be required to accelerate force. the first rock? At um, the and same the weight rate is measured in newtons. So you're trying to get them equal. Okay, so let's look at this problem. And if you want to do that, one rock weighs five newtons. You'd have to, and um, the other rock weighs zero point five. Zero point five times ten will be required to accelerate to five the first rock at that the same rate. That equal, as and the they're going to accelerate at the so same rate. So you're trying rate. to get them equal. And if you want to do and that, so moving on to Newton's you'd have to um, um, it states every for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. Ten so to get it to let's five say let's that way they're equal whatever and they're going to accelerate right at now, the same Just push rate. down on it. So I'm at a desk and I'm going to push down on my so desk. So moving on to Newton's so third that's law. So one and action. It states every, for every action there's the an equal and opposite reaction. Reaction so is going to be the desk say, pushing back on me. Whatever surface I know that it's you have hard right to now, think of it just push down on it. So I'm at a desk is and I'm going to push object, down on my desk. Objects don't usually push so back. So that's one um, action. But you, it's it's the, you can think of it that way. Reaction so is going to be the desk there is pushing back on a you. reaction, and um, I know it's kind of hard to think of it that way because back on you. you know a desk is an so object, and objects don't usually push back. For an example, when you're back, standing on a skateboard um, or on a but slippery you, floor. It's, it's you, you can think the of it that way. So slide push the opposite desk, direction. There is which would be away from the wall. A reaction, and, and that's this is because when you be push the, desk the wall, back on you. the wall pushes back with an equal and so opposite force. For an example, when you're standing and on a skateboard or on all a slippery floor, floor, if you, you push against the wall, you lucky slide for you, the opposite direction, um, which would be away so from the wall. So when your toe exerts a force on a rock, or the wall pushes back more commonly the corner of the bed or the corner of the end table. Any corner in your house, and really. We've all um, stubbed our toe. If you it haven't, sort of the lucky whatever you, you stub your toe on um, exerts an equal so force back on your toe. So when your toe exerts a force, so the harder you hit your toe against an object, more commonly the more corner of the bed, the corner of the end table, or and the more corner in your house, really. Um, it is right, so sort of for the, an example, whatever you stub your toe on exerts an equal force back on your toe. So the harder you hit your toe against an object. The more force Which will have the same, it exerts the most back on force. your toe. Is it going to be the bug and on the, the bus pain that you're or going to the bus on the bug? Right, so right. if you said the force would be the same, with the mass of your five crest, grams flies into the windshield the of a moving 1,000 kilogram bus. Which will be mass times the acceleration. Which will have the same, the and most the force, force. Is the bus. Is it going to be the bus on the bus or acceleration. the bus on the bug? So they're going to be equal. If you said the force would be the same, because you still have the same form. And that's because the force of the numbers are going to be switched. Times either way, when you multiply it, you're going to come up with the same answer. And the force of the bus is also going to be mass times acceleration. So 
Another example we they're can look at be is equal when a rocket is you still have the, the same moon. formula. It's just so you the numbers are going to be switched, but the action, either way, the which when is going to be the rocket it, that pushes on the, the gases, answer. and the reaction is going to be the gases so, that push on the rocket. Another example we so can look at is this, when a rocket is flying to the moon, the rocket into the atmosphere, so you and then eventually into space. The action. Which is going to be the rocket right, that so pushes we have on a the gases. Problem here. And the reaction so is going to be the gases with that bat. push on the rocket. If we call the force so applied because of this, ball, it will the propel bat, the, the rocket force into the atmosphere and then the reaction into space. force. Right, so the action force is the ball. Right, so we have a little the force problem applied here. to the ball so by the bat. So consider hitting a so baseball with the reaction with the force. If we call the force, the force applied, applied to, to the ball bat by the hands, the action force force applied to the bat by the ball. Right, so, so the, the force the ball force carries the ball, with it in flight. The force applied would be the, the ball by the bat. Force in so the would swing. the reaction force be the force applied to the right, bat? Right, if the force the applied hands, to the bat by the, the ball. The force applied to the bat correct. by the ball. Um, so the, the action force, force the ball carries with the force it in flight to the ball or by would the bat. The centrifugal force and the reaction the force would be the force applied to the bat by the ball. Right, if you said the force applied to the bat by the ball, then you're correct. I always like um, the scenario. So the action because force is being different. The force applied don't really to think the about ball by the bat. These kind of concepts and happening. the reaction force would um, be the force you're applied taking to the bat by the, space the ball. Shuttle. And your safety line breaks. How would you get back to the right, shuttle? So I always like the scenario right, just because so it's the thing you would do would be to take and you don't really think tools about from your tool belt kind of and throw it as happening. hard as you can directly um, away from the shuttle. But suppose you're taking a spacewalk near the space shuttle. Then with the help of Newton's second third law, you'll accelerate back to the shuttle. Um, as you throw the tool, you push right. against so it, the thing you causing would do it would to be accelerate. To take one of the but at the same from time, by Newton's and third law, as hard as you can directly, directly away from the shuttle. You. Um, in the opposite then, direction. Then, with the help of Newton's second and third law, you, you will accelerate, accelerate back, back towards, towards the shuttle. The shuttle. Um, as so you throw the tool, you, throw the you push tool, against it, and it to at the same time, you're the same force, time by Newton's third but then law, the tool's it's also giving back force against back, you, which makes you move um, back in the opposite the direction, and no one wants to this causes you space. to accelerate back towards the shuttle. All right, so, so let's just do a quick little review. You throw the tool, and so at, at the same time, time you're applying a force, as objects in but motion, then it's the also motion, giving a force back, back that which makes you stay at rest, and it's acted upon by an unbalanced force. Because no lost in space. Newton's second right, law so let's just do is a quick force equals review. mass times acceleration, so or in first formula law, form, is stated as objects in motion tend to stay in motion, and, and objects the at third rest law, tend to stay at rest, unless acted for every action there, there is a force and opposite reaction. Newton's second law right, and is just for force fun, equals mass times acceleration, three laws or in formula from form, Homer S equals M times A. So and Homer Simpson, the third law, um, he's large and has every a greater mass, therefore he has greater inertia. So friction and gravity and opposed just for his fun, motion. So it's going to be harder for him three laws to change from directions or stop or you know so anything Homer that has to do with motion since uh, he has he's a large and has mass. a greater mass. Therefore, he has greater um, for inertia. For the second law, Homer's so mass is multiplied by nine motion. So it's going to be harder for him square to change this direction his weight. or stop. And remember, or, you know anything that has to do with motion since he has a larger mass. And for his third law. Um, when for the Homer second law, pushes Homer's the ground or multiplied by a nine or anything that has that has to come into contact and with this some is gonna other equal his weight. object. And remember, um, it's gonna the object's gonna push back force. on him. So it's gonna be an equal and for his third law. An equal and opposite when Homer action. pushes against the ground or when he falls right. and or anything that has that laws. has him come into contact yeah, with some other sir. object, um it's gonna the object's gonna push back on him. So it's gonna be an equal or an equal and opposite action. Alright, and those are the three laws, and I hope you enjoyed the lesson.